In this video, we're going to go over nine call center best practices you need to know. I'll explain each practice in detail so you know exactly what it looks like in action. I'll also provide you with tips and advice on how to implement these practices so your call center can be a valuable driver of success for any business that needs one. Before we get started, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to our channel, Business Takes, for more takes on all things business. Practice number one, choose the right software. Call center software is the foundation of your operations. The success of your call center heavily depends on having the right one to provide customers with a standard that is expected and required. Although there are many great options for the call center software on the market, the best all-around one we've found is Nextiva. With the ability to create a fully functioning call center through a web-based platform, Nextiva has features that include voicemail, call routing, call recording, and landline integration. With Nextiva, there is no hardware involved, and you can even address more complex needs with its built-in CRM, workforce management tools, and QA tools. There's a link in the description below, and be sure to keep Nextiva at the top of your list for all your cloud-based call center software needs. Lastly, if you want more than just software, you can also find call center services to outsource all of your calls. Keep in mind that you won't have as much oversight regarding the quality of customer service with this method. Practice two, upgrade your system. The agents at your call center can only be as good as the tools and equipment you provide them. A great system allows your agents to be more efficient and effective with their calls and customers. Here are the three major system upgrades to consider. Voice over internet protocol, or VoIP. As long as there's reliable internet connection, VoIP allows your agents to make and take phone calls from wherever they are. Another benefit of going with a VoIP system is that they're typically much cheaper and easier to use than most traditional landline-based systems. Although there are many great options for VoIP providers in the market that you could research, if you want to save time, go with our favorite cloud-based VoIP service provider, Nextiva. With high-quality customer service, free mobile and desktop apps, and the best and most popular features available for VoIP, all at a reasonable price, you won't be disappointed. Again, be sure to check out that link for Nextiva in the description below. Cloud-based phone systems. Be sure to look for a cloud-based system when choosing a VoIP provider. These phone systems keep all information in the cloud where anyone in the company can access them when needed. With calls, texts, and voicemails quickly and easily accessible, it makes it easy for you to conduct reviews and also helps keep everything organized. Virtual phone numbers. Virtual phone numbers allow your team to use the same phone number across multiple platforms. This means that any calls they make or take will show up as the same phone number, regardless of where or how they made the call. This includes cell phones, laptops, and office desk phones. Consider choosing a local phone number for each of your calling regions if you're looking to increase your call open rates, as recipients are more likely to answer a call from an area code they recognize. Lastly, know that it's typically better to update everything all at once rather than piecemealing your upgrades. Assess your needs, determine your budget, and then make the decision to go all in. Practice three, CRM. Businesses tend to avoid and procrastinate when it comes to updating their customer relationship management systems, or CRMs, because the process of deploying a new CRM or setting one up from scratch can feel overwhelming and burdensome. This is a critical error since you need a CRM that gives your team quick and easy access to useful customer data as well as the ability to add notes to customer profiles as needed. Your agents will be far more effective on calls when working with a solid CRM, as they will get a clear picture of who they're talking to in seconds. It also allows them to pass on vital information to the rest of the team. If necessary, look for a CRM that comes with migration support. The CRM you decide on should also be cloud-based, integrate well with any softwares you're currently using, and also have the ability to track customer data and generate reports. To avoid any issues with CRM integration, be sure to clean up your customer data before trying to migrate or populate a new system. Give your staff plenty of training and time to transition. Start slowly by using one aspect of the CRM, then working your way up from there as your staff gains confidence. Practice four. Data and analytics software. Data is crucial to know what's working and what's not. It's important to look for data and analytics software that provides real-time tracking of what's happening with both your staff and your customers. It should also generate reports that allow you to track trends over time. 
Start by getting a clear picture of your management goals, as well as your department's key performance indicators, or KPIs. This will allow you to make the best use of data and analytics software. Be sure not to neglect using the software once you have it, and don't choose software that's too complicated or just isn't appropriate for what you're trying to track. The best software for you will be simple yet fully functional. So take a couple of tours or watch some webinars on how the software you're considering works before you buy it. Next, once you've got it, set up times in your calendar to review and act on the data. Practice five, AI-powered tools. With new AI-powered tools coming out for call centers, early adopters are seeing huge benefits from making smart use of AI. AI-powered tools can help you spot trends in customer behavior by tracking patterns and outliers. It can also help you maintain compliance on calls by screening for off-script interactions. Once it's combined with your data and analytics software, you'll have some powerful management tools at your disposal. Furthermore, AI can help you route your calls better so customers get to the right person faster and it can also take over some repetitive tasks that once required human agents. Just keep in mind that most people don't like or want to talk to robots, so they're not a replacement for tasks that require real people. If you're thinking about going with natural language processing or something similar that says you can completely run a call center using AI, think again. It's simply not true, and you'll definitely end up annoying your customers. Practice six, prioritize first call resolution. One of the most important call center KPIs is known as First Call Resolution, or FCR. It's a measurement of the percentage of customers whose problems get solved after their first time calling. A high FCR rate means that your customer experience is better, your call center is more efficient, and your operating cost is lower due to your agents not being tied up trying to resolve issues. The best way to improve FCR is provide your agents with the best training and give your staff access to support tools that make it easy to access information that will help customers. Keep good track of your call center metrics so you have data to see what your FCR is. That way, you'll be able to know if your staff is trained well enough to take and handle calls effectively. Practice seven, self-service options. It's important to build strong self-service options for your customers. Create a knowledgeable base and an FAQ section about all the features and benefits of your products, as well as how to troubleshoot common problems. Be sure to guide customers through some of the simple things since nobody will know your products better than you do. Consider adding video tutorials if you can. Video is a great way to show off the features of your product. It also helps people who are visual learners. Chatbots can also be helpful when it comes to self-service options, but make sure you're using them purposefully. There's nothing more frustrating than trying to fight with a chatbot to get an answer to a simple problem, so be thoughtful and careful when you create your scripts. You should always allow customers to contact an agent at any time during the process. Lastly, make sure you're talking to actual customers when you create your knowledge base. They're the ones who are dealing with the issues, so let them explain things in their own words so you can meet them where they're at. Otherwise, you could end up with self-service options that look really great to you, but aren't really helpful to your customers. Practice eight, use a strong hiring team. The best software in the world is meaningless unless you have a strong team to use it. Your team should consist of people with a deep knowledge of your industry and a strong sense of the skills needed to be a good fit for your specific call center. Be sure that your hiring managers are able to screen for great call center agents who are both technically skilled and have the personality for the job. While the steps for hiring employees are pretty much the same whatever industry you're in, Make sure to check in with your hiring team regularly about the goals for hiring and what kinds of slots you're looking to fill. For instance, if your AI tools reveal that you're having an influx of unhappy customers, you may want to try to find more agents who are more experienced in high conflict situations. Finally, make sure you have a clearly defined hiring process, as this will help you maintain a high standard for your new hires. Practice nine. Training software. Using training software is a great way to provide meaningful training for new hires to set them up for success. Training software helps teach people how to use their equipment while also giving them some hands-on practice at their jobs before getting started. Be sure to choose software that allows for a high degree of interactivity and lets you upload lessons in different learning styles. And if you're able to find one that gamifies the process, even better. Look for software that allows for customer-like interactions so your staff can role play with the software before diving into interactions with live customers. Employees often prefer to learn via their phones instead of sitting in front of a computer. 
look for a platform that provides mobile-friendly content, as doing so will encourage employees to take the training seriously. Some of these practices require much more upkeep and maintenance than others, but once you've gotten them all down, everything will fall into place and your call center will be a fine-tuned machine with productive employees and satisfied customers. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and be sure to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to leave a comment or question below. And if you're looking for a high quality cloud-based VoIP service provider for your call center, be sure to check out the link for Nextiva in the description. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.